What's up, yo? It's your boy, head coach Ross of the Tax Gym, Street Boy and Gio Hulu. Helping me out, of course, is my indispensable, magnificent cousin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Assistant coach. Tell him who you are, brother. Phil, you guys know who I am. You already know. All right, check this out. Let's walk a minute, you know, uh, because an important issue got raised up, and it's something I've been thinking about for a while. I want you to look around where we're at right here. We're over here, east side of Long Beach. We, you know, uh, we're gonna do a full 360 around this. You can see what's happening. Turn it around. I'm gonna walk you to the alleyway. Just look around. All right. You know, we're 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 here uh, near the downtown. We're actually in the downtown region right here. Yes, show, show them the alleyway, baby. All there right. It is. See what it is. All right. Both sides. Let them check it out. Take you know, the ambiance. Check it out. You know what I'm saying? Check all with the ambiance. All right. right. We're, we're, we're neighborhood brothers. All right. And yes. We're educated, yes, we're articulated, et cetera, so on and so forth, but we're still neighborhood brothers. Absolutely. Okay, and it's very important that you understand this because there are, a, I wanna, what I wanna say to you right now, some of you is gonna be very controversial. I don't care, because it's true, all right? The other part is we're gonna move out the alleyway so we don't get run over by brothers, you know, who will run you over in the alleyway, all right? <laughs> you know, so, uh, my point is this. It's crystal clear, given the realities of today and the histories that we're talking about that there are special self-defense concerns and issues that befall especially those of us of african extract and descent wherever we are in the world it is not sufficient to develop techniques that uh, that do that address everything else except for these realities that means that it's cool to train you know guard or muay thai or whatever you're training but if you're not putting it in the context that Alton and Sterling's faced when you're dealing with those police officers who shot him for no reason, you're not training self-defense. You are not only not training self-defense, you are betraying not only the, if you're a black uh, 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 teacher, if you're of African extract, if you're African-American or African, whatever you want to call it, all right? You are not only betraying the full scope of your spectrum of responsibilities, in my opinion, our opinion our opinion yes talk to him brother all right is you are also not properly training yourself in regards to self-defense and as a result of that you're not capable you're not you're not giving the full spectrum of your capabilities to your students whatever their their racial or ethnic or gender background is there are special considerations and concerns that that, that before the African-American, the African, and then secondarily the Latin communities. Let's walk. Absolutely. Okay. Now check it out. I'm going to address them. Hands down, I'm going to address them. All right. If we see the, see the Walker Scott shooting or anything else like that, as a self-defense, what's happening, buddy? Good morning. All right now, good morning. You know? as a self-defense instructor who is also of African extract and very proud of that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We are going to address these issues. We are going to address the laws extant in the states, and we're going to address the ways in which to deal with the criminals of our community and the criminals wearing badges. Regardless of color. Regardless of color. If you are a sucker, you are a sucker. There is no, it don't matter what flavor you are of, uh, of Baskin Robbins. You're right. a sucker. All 31. All 31. You can make up a 32nd one, and we'll kick that one too. <laughs> All right? That's our whole get down. And again, the emphasis is unapologetically on the fact that there are special considerations that befall us as Africans, who are the root of humanity. And as such, we have a special spiraling outward empathy toward all humanity, which is not necessarily returned back to us. You know, which a lot of people want to, you know, PC around and pussyfoot around. Nah, nah, that's the reality. And I'm, when I'm, and I'm addressing it point blank. My cousin's addressing it point blank. And you see us doing these things in the videos. So if there's a special issue that comes down, let's walk a bit. If there's a special issue that comes down, doesn't matter where you are. If, you, if it's in Brazil, if it's uh, 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 Indonesia, if it's the United States, if it's wherever it is, we're going to address it. And we're going to get into depth into detail about it, the history of the area, the kind of, kind of patterns of behavior that we're able to find out through public research. Uh, we're going to first break it down along these lines. We're going to first acknowledge that just because you are black, you are of African extract or even of uh, partial African blood, you have special considerations that nobody else has. 
it's our responsibility to address these considerations. That's number one. Number two, we will then make it very, very clear that we're not denigrating anyone who's been victimized by this. The reason that they've been victimized is because they didn't have the information secondarily. That's the second reason. Yes. The first reason is because some sucker tried to try to victimize them in the first place. That's the problem. Okay? And a lot of people make some ex excuses about it. We don't do that. Do we do that? No, not at all. Tell them about no. it, brother. Every time we make a comment on things that, that have to do with us and our people, we get bashed. People uh, say that we're trying to uh, make money off them and we're trying to exploit them. All we're trying to do is spread a unified message within the community. That's another reason why we train in the community. There's, there's very few gyms in our city that we are not welcomed in with open arms and we do not uh, love and respect. We train first and foremost in the environment so that we have that edge. But secondly, so that people in our community can come and understand and get an impromptu lesson, both physically and psychologically, and hopefully if it sticks, mentally as well. So I just want you guys to understand where we're coming from. We're coming from a place of love and respect and hopefully through this video and, and with us standing up and taking a stance, we will inspire others to do the same. Exactly, very well said. And I really want to underscore this. The idea that one can make money off of the tragedy that befalls us takes such terrible turns in logic that is sometimes it's just befuddling and just astonishing to me, all right? Because you know what? We're not profiting off of this. You know why? We're black too. Exactly. We are the next victims if we didn't know what we were knowing. We would have been the victims before the victims we're talking about if we didn't know what we're knowing. We are not profiting off of this. We are trying to help you stay alive. We are trying to connect with all of the rest of humanity by having a straightforward, undiluted, real world, what you kids call it, keep it 100. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, that's what we're doing. If you can't take it, the conversation isn't for you. But the conversation needs to be had. You're just not in it. Absolutely. At some point, you'll get mature enough. You'll get honest enough. You'll get human enough. It is our collective hope and belief to join in the conversation. What is happening now? Yes. Whether you want to talk about it or not, Mike Brown was killed. Whether you want to talk about it or not, Trayvon Martin was killed. Mm. Whether you want to talk about it, Tamir Rice was killed. Whether or not you want to talk about it, 27 years ago, I would have been killed. If I didn't know what I'm knowing now. If you saw our videos before, our ancestors had been in one of the seven concentration camps of this country. The Devil's Punch Bowl. The reason why I'm here telling you about that is because they punched the Devil's Punch Bowl in his nose. Yeah, we spiked the punch. They <laughs> spiked that punch. You know yes, that Injia that Uhuru spike. Yes, sir. That flavor they weren't ready for. That's that 33rd flavor that Baskin Robbins don't know about. <laughs> okay? That's how real it is. That's how legitimate it is. That's how comprehensive it is. That's how human it is. That's how simple it is. It's nothing more than that. Talk no, to them, I, absolutely. When we, when we look and we see the news, we, we, we are angered. And, and this is the response to that. And every video that we put out subsequently is going to make sure that we put first and foremost the love and respect that we have for our people, our culture, and what we represent. We represent two intelligent African-American men who are trying to put forth an intelligent message that's Afrocentric, pure, plain, and simple. And Afrocentric doesn't mean that we hate other people. No. You see, since Africans are the root of the human species, there's no way that you can factually hate someone else in the human species without a boomerang back on you. Yes, and we love us. We love the hell out of us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about smooshing myself right now. Here we go. You know, right? <laughs> you know which means that there's some of that love for you, unless you're a sucker, in which case. Yeah. You know, you have to just deal with the education that's coming your way. Absolutely. All right, India Uhuru style, all right?
then hopefully you will have grown enough as a human being to actually engage us all as human beings. Yes. With the proper respect, proper love, proper understanding, and the the bracing undiluted truth here, which is based upon not only real life experience, but research, logic, functional training, repeated application. You see, you have to have love and you have to be humble in order to want to reach out to people who may reject you and recognize that you may not be right. Yes. We are not right. We are just learning to get, be more correct. It's a process. Yes. Right is an end. All right, it's, it's an end. Two plus two equals four. Game, set, match. Mathematics is different. Once you learn two plus two equals four, learn the rest of math. You will not live long enough to, 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 to learn the rest of math, even if you can live forever, because there's always something else to learn. In order to do that, you have to be humble. You have to realize you don't know. You have to be willing to change your positions based upon fact and logic. Not because somebody disagrees with you, not because somebody has more money than you, not because you elected a president with fake hair. Oh, wow. All right? <laughs> Who isn't the real president, should have been Hillary, or the burn himself, but that's another discussion, all right? Stop him, brother. Yeah, I mean, again, and, and, and I want to drive this point home. We love you enough to share. Exactly. Whether you agree with our, our message or our, our methodology, we're out here starting a positive dialogue. Let's discuss this in the comments section. Hit up the blogs, the website. Come see us. We're not hard to find. Every other video is Long Beach. Come at us. We are trying to talk positively and solve very negative situations through love. This is what this is, love. Maybe it's a love tap, but it's love. There you go. There you go. And that's very important. It's love. It's tough love. We may love to kick you in the butt. We may love to stomp upon your illogical arguments. We may love to actually eat some humble pie and learn. Because love is a human thing. Yes, all right? So if you have any questions or comments, like you said, leave it in the comments. All right? It's Head Coach Ross for the Tax Gym in G.A. Uhuru. Assistant Coach Phil. You guys, again, you know who I am. There it is. Asante sana. Ashe. Amani. <laughs>